Hey, what up, guys? Welcome back to Tyspin. You enjoyed the first video. Hope you subscribed. Hope you enjoyed this. Right now, we'll be going over some simple tips over building, editing, 1v1s, shooting, just tips. Oh, and creative. So this is mostly for beginners. If, like, anything can help. Even no matter how good, but mostly this is for beginners. I'll just be showing you some simple tips so you can meet people in Fortnite. First one, what the heck is going on with my stare? Oh, well, that's just the shadow. So it's an easy ramp rush that will just beat people most of the time. It's a three layer, which is actually not too hard. It is a floor stair wall. The good part about this is someone coming at you, if they're facing straight at you, they have to shoot two floors and all two stairs. If they're coming from here, if they're from the side, they might have to shoot all three out. But it's very hard to knock down. And plus, they'll have to spray down while you're just got high ground and are shooting at them. They'll have to spray you out. So most of the time, it will ultimately defeat them and then there's from there you can just grow like you can do double floor sterile which is I struggle with it but it's just kinda it's not too hard plus then that is a six layer see four or five one, two. Yeah, you have to shoot out six things, or, well, six layer means you have to shoot out four things, which is kind of weird. And there, you can do another one, which is a four layer, yeah, four layer, which is floor stair, wall stair. which in the end it will look like this now to do all of these it's not too hard I'll start with the simplest one which is floor stair wall stair I mean floor stair wall so you're basically what I do is I build a, f a stair floor a wall and the way you do it is when you're So you're starting out with one thing. Usually you're on the ground, so you only have to place one. So you can just do a floor, I mean a stair and a wall. Then you go to this. So when I'm usually midway through this, I place the top one. Then I run up, I look down, place the floor. And I just keep doing that. Then I look, I look back up for the wall. Don't worry, you will mess up. <laughs> but... In the end, if you can master this, this will help you a lot. In the end, like, this is one of the best. It's not mat consuming like many of the other ones, like the other ones I'm going to show you. So it's a very good. And you can use it in almost all situations. Next one is double floor stair wall, which is kind of like double stair wall. Like that circular motion, except... The way I do it is you kind of just like shake your fingers like back and forth like that while you're running up and you go through all of them. So and then you just switch between. See this one I even mess up, but you won't. You'll rarely ever need to use this. Why is my floor not working? That one you'll rarely ever have to use. I don't think there really is a moment where it's convenient because to get high ground you at least have to go that and that's already 120 mats and the part that you can only hold 500 in each stack it's a pretty big dividend especially when you can do stuff like 90s to get high ground or just normal floor stair wall that's still very hard to shoot out so that one, 
It's cool, but it's kind of pointless. Then the next tip is floor stair wall stair. So you just start out with a normal floor stair wall. Then you hold, instead of switching, instead of looking up, you walk farther up. So then you end up placing it at the bottom right there. You end up placing it at, at the bottom. So you're going to be like... My bad. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, I'm kind of sick right now. And then you end up just doing it like that. And then eventually, it just becomes habit. And that one is probably more practical than floor stair wall, the double floor stair wall. Because it takes up less mats and is a four layer, so it's pretty hard to shoot out. But in the end, it's really what's, what's your preference, how many mats do you have, and is it really worth it to build that much? So the next tips are more for when you're in a build battle. Say, a guy rushes you, he builds up. He's up here and like you're down here, you're below. An easy tip to do is this first one is when he's sh trying to shoot you and you're like replacing and you're under this. A way to get high ground quick is just double stare and then you can, yeah, and then just do a 180. That is simple, but it can get shot out if he just holds down spraying, especially if you're building with wood. Another one you can do, a <coughs> little more advanced, is stair, stair, triangle. See, I messed this one up. Because you gotta, it's kind of harder, kind of pointless. Because, oh, holy, can't do anything. You can't really do much with it. But the second you get that down, that's really, there's nothing the guy can do. It's like, say you're here, so you, there you just, you gotta switch back to your stair quick. So that's pretty good, because then they, from this angle, Because now they're, if they're above you, they're shooting that, that, and that, and knock you out. Which is basically a three layer. Then you can do what I like to call the cloaksy. The only person I really see do this is cloaksy. So say the guy's up here on high ground. You're, out, you're down here, he's shooting you, and you're like just holding it. One, he does this. So he builds out. Does that one rip? Then he jumps triangles. Shoot. This one's more on the tough side because you have to actually like stop your momentum. But in the end, it it's pretty helpful. I would say so. Let me get rid of that. Because he'll seal this, see this, and then he has to shoot that. Oh. Triangle, wall, stair, floor. But it's up to your preference, your skill level, and everything when it comes to that. I usually just use the, the double. Oh. I usually just do this, then. 180 because most of the times you're doing it quickly and the guy doesn't have enough time to shoot you out then you're above him so he has to worry about not getting shot instead of shooting you out right. next tip it's a very simple one it's called the T well there's two Tifu classics and I'm gonna show you both actually for the first one it is a simple shotgun thing so say 
you're in like a close this usually works middle like start of the game if you have a decent amount of mats at the start like 100 or 200 so say you're like out here you have a shoddy you get a shot on someone you build up and you're here or you're mostly two levels is probably better so you can jump out take a shot then place the floor and that will look like this you can place another triangle if you want then from here you can take the triangles just so he doesn't shoot you out and then after that you can do peaks like this or you can even then after a certain point if he's low enough you can drop down just depends on how low he is you just gotta keep attention to that cause he could destroy you the second you jump down cause you're giving up your one hot advantage which is high ground one of the other Tfue classic is is this it's like a peaking glitch for you basically you're just so from this angle your head is not showing and um so basically you're just just doing that because you have a pretty small aim reticle so you can hit shots and um and you're exposed for a very small time it's like a millisecond and most people with a sniper will miss or the bullet is moving too slow to even hit you i think next this is one of the more complicated ones you can do there's many varieties of this it's called a 90 it's a very helpful for getting a high ground so basically just the way I do it is I do the classics and the, the point of this is you can get you can go up like vertical very fast so it's used to build fights when you try to beat someone to high ground or steal a high ground there's the way I do it is the classic way is you place floor 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 and it's just a circular motion you can only do it I advise only to do it three times in a row because then your jump fatigue will start glitching out and you start jumping like this and then you can if you do it too much you can get stuck like I'll show you yeah like that happens <coughs> Um, there is a way to do it, do endless 90s just straight up, but it's very complicated. Well, not very complicated, it's just a different way. Mongre you can check out Mongrel's channel. He shows how to do it. So that's one style of 90s. This is the other one. This is the Mongrel way of doing it. You cut moving. I don't do these ones, but I can kind of do them. It's basically, instead of moving like that, you're moving like that. Yeah. These are more complicated. They are a little bit quicker. Not too much quicker, but in a game like this, every second counts, so it could help. I don't do them just because, like, I don't know. I just don't like the feel of them. But practice makes perfect. If you like them, you like them. It's really up to you. Next 90 is it's the deconstructed 90. Basically, it's the least mats. It will look like this. Very. So what you're doing is you're basically starting with a. I'll start with wood because you can see it better. You're up, up. <sighs> Very simple. It is kind of weird to get down at first. But these are, I think, are quicker. So I do these a lot if I, if I don't need the cover that the extra wall gives you. And it saves a lot more mats than doing this because it's only using 
four or five things and then one, two, three, four. Yeah. It's just quicker. Yeah, those are the four ways to do 90s. There's many more, but those are the basic way, the most ba known and basic ways to do them, I would say. So, just enough. You can't get them down, just practice, practice, practice. It's very good. You just gotta remember to always be moving with circular motion. Try not to hit the wall. I do it a lot because I can, because I'm doing the classic 90s and you don't really have to worry about it too much. But with 90s, like, especially these 90s, the ones for the deconstructed ones, because there's no wall that even stop you. So if like this one, if you run into the wall, you do it slower, but you're still not falling off the edge. Because if you fall off on a 90, you're probably going to die because you're very high up. So you just got to be careful on these ones or this one. Yeah, with that one, if you run into the wall, it kind of just screws up the whole entire 90, the mongrel 90s. Other than that, those are all the tips and tricks I got. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the bell icon, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Go f follow me on my Instagram, go follow me at my Twitch, TiesFan10, and see you later.